Hi everyone, and welcome to the 2020 PyTorch Summer Hackathon. I'm Francisco Massa, and I'm a research engineer at Facebook AI. I work in the PyTorch team, and I'm the maintainer of Torch Vision. Today, I'll be talking about what is in Torch Vision, and how it can enable you to get started in computer vision with PyTorch. The first question you might ask yourself is, what is Torch Vision? Torch Vision is a library that was built to facilitate research and experimentation in computer vision. It extends PyTorch with functionality which is very specific and useful to computer vision, so that it keeps the PyTorch core library lean and focused on core deep learning abstractions. But what is exactly in there in Torch Vision? Let's have a closer look. Torch Vision facilitates research and experimentation in computer vision by providing a number of building blocks that allows you to quickly start a new project end to end. It provides common datasets for a number of mainstream vision tasks, such as classification and object detection. It also has models. We also provide reference pre-trained models for classification, detection, and more. Torch Vision also has taught scriptable operators specific to computer vision models, and also data transformation operators to simplify creating data augmentation pipelines. Additionally, it contains primitives for efficient video reading, and finally, reference training scripts, which illustrates with a few files how one can train your model with Torch Vision, leveraging the building blocks that we provide. Now let's have a closer look at what is present on some of those topics. Torch Vision provides standard datasets, which are commonly used in research papers. This allows the user to quickly get started on a particular task, freeing them to have to look for the data, manually download it, and write a PyTorch dataset for it. Instead, Torch Vision provides the datasets with a single function and automatically downloads the data when possible. Before feeding the image to a model, we generally need to perform some data conversion between the image format that you have and what the model expects. Those transformations have a twofold purpose. They might be needed before you feed the data to the model, such as converting the image to a tensor or normalizing it, or as a data augmentation, such as random color augmentations and random crops. Torch Vision provides both types of transformations under the Transforms module, so that common augmentations are readily available to the user. Torch Vision provides a convenient way of accessing many reference models that cover a number of tasks, such as image classification, object detection, instance segmentation, person key point detection, semantic segmentation, and video action recognition. For all those tasks, we provide pre-trained weights, which greatly facilitates downstream usages, such as transfer learning. In addition, all Torch Vision models are readily exportable to both Onyx and TorchScript, enabling those models to easily be used in production. They have been implemented with ease of use in mind. Indeed, in Torch Vision, we favor simplicity over extensive parameterization. Our thinking is that the model should be easy to read and understand, and should serve as a reference implementation for that particular model. This way, it should be easy to adapt a model from Torch Vision to your own needs. There are generally trade-offs on compute speed and accuracies. Because each application has its own needs, smaller or faster models might be more suited. Torch Vision provides models with different speed accuracy profiles, so that you can choose the one that best fits your needs. In the Ops module, we provide custom operators specific to computer vision, with efficient C++ and CUDA implementations, and which have full support for Torch Script. They complement the operators in PyTorch, and are used to implement some of the most complex models in Torch Vision. As I've mentioned, Torch Vision provides pre-trained models for many tasks, such as image classification, object detection, person key point detection, semantic mutation, and video action recognition. Those models were hand-picked and correspond to representative and highly impactful research papers, on top of which many more papers were built upon. But how can the user reproduce or build on top of those research models? In order to assemble all those blocks together, Torch Vision also provides training scripts that can be used as a reference on how to perform end-to-end -end training of your models. We provide training scripts for all the tasks that are covered in our models, including image classification, where we assign a single label to the whole image, object detection and instance segmentation, which allows us to finally locate individual instances of objects, person key point detection, which works on multiple people in the same image and allows to estimate the pose of people in images, video action recognition, which takes a sequence of consecutive frames in the video and predicts the main action that happens in this sequence following kinetics for 100 dataset, 
and semantic segmentation, which finally enables each pixel in an image to belong to one or more categories. But contrary to instance segmentation, in semantic segmentation, we don't have the ability to separate between different instances of the same class. We provide a tutorial which should be make it easy for you to get started with Tortivision for instance segmentation on your own dataset. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope that Tortivision can help you build great new applications leveraging PyTorch.